So what a day we had today, huh? Temperatures in the low 80s and now look at it cooling off. McAllen just dropped right before we went on the air from 71 to 67. New report coming in. So with the exception of the island now, everybody in the 60s and still cooling off very nicely. Our lows tonight, here's what we have for you. Most of the valley in the 50s, the exception will be the beach at about 68, but still a very cool night across the region. And then tomorrow back up into the mid to upper 80s again. Looks like still a nice day. Humidity's down, sun's out. Light breeze out of the northeast should be a pretty good day all across the valley. Future track suggests tonight just patchy clouds along the coast. Early in the morning you'll see those as the day goes on, partly to mostly sunny skies tomorrow. I think overnight tomorrow night we start to see a little bit of an increase in moisture. You see a few more clouds showing up and then Sunday probably a mix of clouds and sun. But more clouds we're going to see tomorrow, that's for sure. And maybe even an isolated shower Sunday. We're talking about, you know, 5% of the area or less, but a brief shower is a possibility. And then on Monday, I think the chance of rain is going to go up a little bit to about 20%. Rest of Texas, boy, a lot of folks enjoying a nice cool night for football across the state. Only 51 in the state capital. San Antonio at 58. The Big D at 61. Dallas 54 in Abilene tonight. Here's a look at satellite. Try to find a cloud in Texas. Nothing left after the stuff that was here earlier today moved out. Ended up with clear skies from wall to wall across the state, courtesy of the big ridge of high pressure. That tends to be a fair weather maker, and that's the case right now. Wind flow coming in out of the northeast right now, and that is a cool, dry flow. Well, by tomorrow, the high starts to work its way toward the east, so the flow comes more directly out of the east. And by the time we get to Monday, really Sunday night and Monday, that flows really out of the southeast again. And once that happens, all that moisture that got pushed out in the Gulf gets pushed right back in and you end up with clouds and maybe a shower or two. Oh yeah, and humidity as well. Humidity builds in for next week and there will be plenty of it all the way into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The next front on the map doesn't get here. It stays way to the north, so we don't see another one after last night's for a while. Next seven days, take a look at our rain chances. 20% Monday and Tuesday and that's it. Otherwise dry and high temperatures. The normal for this time of year is 86. We should be above that throughout the forecast period. So just count on uh, plenty of warm conditions with just a little bit more humidity. Tonight, though, gorgeous 56 for a low. Clear and cool. Tomorrow, we're back up to 87 with plenty of sunshine. Looks like another really nice day. East, northeasterly breeze. Sunday looks pretty good as well, but more clouds probably. Monday, Tuesday, slight chance of a shower. And then next week, we're about 90 by day, about 70 or so by night. That is your updated First 1.5 forecast.